this is a Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to discuss a small concept of comb. Okay. Let us consider a sector with radius L and central angle theta. Okay. First of all, consider a circle with radius L. Okay. So, one complete rotation takes 360 degrees, right? Okay. So, this is a circle with radius R, which is formed by one complete rotation 360 degrees. Okay. Now, now consider a sector. Okay. With radius L and let the sectors arc length be L with angle theta. Okay. Here capital L denotes Length of the arc. Okay. This arc. Fine. So. This is a circle, right? So we know that circumference of a circle is 2 pi radius. So here pi is a, sorry, L is a radius of the circle. So, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi L. Now, let us take this sector. Let us consider the sector with angle theta and radius L and the arc length capital L. If this is a sector Join the radius. If you join the two radii, it forms a comb. A right circular comb. Okay. If you join this radii, it forms a right circular comb. Okay, this arc length, see, the arc length is transformed into circular base. So, this is that circular base. If you consider a cone with radius R, and this becomes a slant height. See? The radii of the circle, the sector from the circle whose radius is L forms a slant height. Okay? That is from vertex to base, circular base. Okay. Now, This is a circular base and this is a slant height. And this is a height, actual height of this cone. And this is a R. Okay, let it be. Since the arc length is transformed to 
circular base of radius r. Okay. So, the circumference of the circular base will be 2 pi into radius r. Okay. And this is a cone with angle theta. Okay. This is a cone formed by the sector whose angle is theta. Now, from the circle and the sector, we get 2 pi L by capital L, circumference of a circle by arc length equals to 2 pi L is one complete rotation. That is, we'll get angle 360 degrees. And for L, we are having angle some theta degrees. We, know, we don't know the exact value of theta here. Okay? And this L is transformed into the circumference of the circular base of the right circular cone. This is our right circular cone. Whose circumference is 2 pi r. Now we can replace the arc length L of this sector to circumference of the circular base of cone which is equals to 360 degrees by theta degrees. Okay. So from this we can write 2 pi r by 2 pi l equals to theta degrees by 360 degrees. Okay. From this, we get 2 pi r equals to, 2 pi r equals to theta degrees by 360 into 2 pi l. We are just taking this denominator to right hand side. Theta degrees by 360 degrees into 2 pi l. Okay. Write again. This becomes 2 pi r equals to theta degrees by 360 or just write theta simply. Okay. Theta by 360 degrees into 2 pi l. Okay. Simply we are considering the circle. The total circumference of the circle is 2 pi L divided by the small part, the small section or a sector of a circle which is having arc length L. Okay. Circumference of total circle by arc length L equals to the total angle formed by the circle when one rotation is 360 degrees by the length Sorry, the angle of sector, angle of the sector, theta, okay. From this you will get 2 pi r equals to theta by 360 degrees into 2 pi l, this one, okay, which is used in solving problems. We can find r or we can find slant height if theta is known. Okay. This will be used in the problems. Fine. 360 by theta. 360 degrees by theta. Since theta is an angle, 
we can write theta itself. No need to write theta degree. Fine. So we have seen a small concept of cone from this in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.